I, it's scary because like, if you listen to all of the old songs with Drake features on it, yeah. You see these artists that are sending for him, you hear them bigging him up. Like, you hear them speaking about how sick or how cold this guy is. And now all of a sudden, he's you lot's enemy. I think Drake knew all this was gonna happen. I feel like there's a bigger picture and um, it hasn't revealed itself yet. There's small things happening here and there. If you're paying attention, if you're reading the lyrics, watching the videos, interviews surrounding it, people talks on the podcast, you can kind of paint your own picture as well. You see this track, yeah? Taylor made Drake featuring AI, Tupac and Snoop. The reason why it's crazy, yeah, is because again, if you go back to when Drake was beefing Meek Mill, people were saying, yeah, these are tweets that I saw online, yeah, hip hop beef now, rap beef now, it's about changing the perception you have of someone. It could also mean changing the perception you have of something. Everyone was totally against the use of AI. People have been campaigning, AI's ruining music, blah, blah, blah. Drake's now used it in a way where he's schooling his op, using his goats and lyrics that he wrote. So the whole ghostwriter thing, basically Drake has now ghostwritten for your legend and is now talking to you via your legend. So now the use of AI, he's made it very creative. It's like it's interesting now, I wanna hear what he has to say. So listen to the lyrics from the perspective of Tupac talking to Kendrick about this beef and then Snoop, talking to Kendrick about this beef. And then the third verse is basically Drake agreeing and giving his opinion on this so-called beef. It's fucked. It's a double, triple, quin, quin, triple entendre, if you like, like, it's mad. But everyone's focused on the use of AI, which in itself is a bit mad because now you've got one of the biggest artists in the world co-signing AI, which is what everyone was avoiding. So I understand why people are angry at it. When you look at the rules of beef, anything goes. Anyway, let's have a listen, man. <laughs> But he's even got Tupac talking about the time when he went at the industry or he went at um, the Mandem and he had his beef. And he's telling from whether it's Tupac from Cuba, Tupac from Brazil or Tupac from flipping Australia, wherever Tupac's hiding, allegedly, he's basically saying, yo, when I was beefing, I went at the man them. I took them all on, had my top off at the House of Blues. Like, what are you on? You're hiding behind alleged scheduling or alleged I've got my own plan. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Not saying Kendrick can't do that, because again, I want to express, just because I'm a Drake fan doesn't mean I'm not a Kendrick fan. When you're looking at the rules surrounding this beef, which one are we playing by? Is it the one where you got to respond quickly? Or is it the one where, do you know what? Let's wait for his album and let him respond. Which one? Drake has just given us two. Spank J. Cole told Metro, go shut your ass up and make some drums. <laughs> All that shit about burning tattoos, it's not a move. That's jail talk for real thugs, you gotta be you. You ask for the smoke, now I see you too busy for the smoke. I won't lie, the people confused. Told me that you tell us it's not really you. And that's you. Man said, nephew. Ah! Snoop is alive, you know. Understand something. Snoop Dogg is alive. But Drake said, mm -mm. I don't know if Snoop has the lyrics to say what I want to say to you. So let me do it, Snoop. And if you read between the lines, I'm just saying, Drake's allowed to. Passed you the torch at the house of blues, and now you gotta do some dirty work. You know how to move. I know you've never been to jail or with jumpsuits and shower shoes. Never shot nobody, never stabbed nobody, never did nothing violent. And no one is the homies that empower how to walk up the wrong tree and then get your head popped in a crowded room. But right now, it seems like you posted up without a clue. What the fuck you about to do? Yeah, Unc, that's the truth. I'm definitely. Yeah, Unc. I went from nephew to Unc. Listen. The dice, ah, uh, the dissecting he's doing on this is crazy, man. Like, stop, you lot can't overlook. I understand there's people out there that don't like Drake. I get it. But please, respect what he's doing here. Because if your guy was doing this, you lot would rate it. So now my man's doing it, all of a sudden it's not, Oh, you can't rain. I oh, love it, man. Love it. Uncle nephews were crazy too. Bow moon, shitting on you niggas from a whole different altitude. High up in the sky like I'm Howard Hughes. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, um, that's the truth. Woo! 
I'm definitely about to come around the lane gang and let my fucking bow move. Shitting on you niggas from a whole different altitude. Two. The next one is really about to bring out the coward in you. But now we gotta wait a fucking week. Cause Taylor Swift is the new top. And if you about to drop, she gotta approve. This girl really about to make you act like you not in a few. She tailor made your schedule with and you out of the loop. Since like that, your tone changed a little. You not as enthused. How are you not in the booth? It feel like you kind of removed. You trying to let this shit die down. Nah, nah, nah. Wait, wait, wait. Before before we get into the whole Taylor Swift stuff, yeah. Man said, yeah, Kendrick is waiting because he's been pushed back because Taylor Swift has just dropped her album. By the way, when I say it will all make sense later, Taylor Swift has dropped her album. Two million copies first week. So it kind of makes sense why Kendrick's been pushed back. Let's just say. Sorry, the meetings that were had to discuss this, you weren't even there. I was though. I got the drop on you. Hence why I can hit you with all of these diss tracks and you not reply. Because you got rules to follow. I don't. It's cheeky. It's cheeky, bro. Now you're saying she's the biggest gangster on your side. It's not even you. Man was outside doing military burpees, you know? Looking like a real soldier. But you can't even drop your tunes because of, of the Swifties. Ah, uh, he's being cheeky. I said already, you know, she about to meet you. I'm doing Millie Rock on your head top, bro. She got Two a million. whole laying on me like that Beyonce challenge. Y'all boys fired for the weekend, like. Right? I know you in that NY apartment you struggling right now. I know it. In the notepad doing lyrical gymnastics, my boy. You better have a motherfucking quintuple entendre on that shit. Some shit I don't even understand. Like, this shit better be crazy. We waiting on you. Yeah. We waiting on you. Oh, it's cheeky. <laughs> We're waiting on you, Kendrick. <laughs> hey, Drizzy is that guy. I'm I ain't picking no sides. I'm basically going with what I'm seeing in front of me. And right now, is it 1.5 nil? I'm not mad at Kendrick. If Kendrick has a plan where this is all benefiting him in the long run and there's a bigger picture, I'm not mad at it. But again, I can only go about what's in front of me. And I really hope that Kendrick is also playing chess. So Drake is currently winning, but I'm not saying Drake has won. I'm going to be open-minded. But Kendrick's got to reply and you're on the clock, nigga. All that. I'm not buying into that. Humble spectator. But right now, as it stands, it looks like it's round, maybe 1.5, round two, and Drake has come out swinging. Kendrick could come out with a one knockout punch and it's like, Rah! but as it stands, Drake leads, man. You can't be mad at me for saying that. But anyway. Nobody number one fan. Number one, I had to put, put it in your hand.